long time no check in i haven't checked in for a few days but i just went to the gym with my friend liz and all post workout we were there for like maybe two hours it was good um so i'm gonna take liz to get her first transit card that's the plan for today and uh introduce her to taking the tram in public transit and then we're gonna go for a tan together and then after that we're gonna have a night out in mississauga we're gonna go to a place called Enco. i haven't been there but like a lot of people i know um have been and said it's pretty good so we're gonna go check that out there's someone we know who's gonna be there tonight and they're like yeah you should stop on by so we're gonna stop on by <laughs> that's that's the plan yeah all right come back here for our, like, our bags and stuff for like our jackets I'm, I'm bringing that to bring your jacket? Co coast cost yeah coast. you bring your jacket to coast yeah because then we can just go right away well, yeah yeah Anyway, you guys, we are now going to coast for dinner before we head out. I figured I'd update the vlog because that's what's happening. We are all ready to go. It's much later in the day. Feeling fresh and fancy. We gym tanned, didn't laundry, but we <laughs> got ready with clothes. So yeah, that's what's happening. Well, it's like 1.30 a.m. and we're gonna get 24 hour faux, so. This place right here, we're going. Can we go? Is it after this guy? Yeah. Yeah, oh man. I always. <laughs> It was a weird night, you guys. It was very <laughs> weird. Totally forgot. What? Cash on me. Oh, I don't have any cash. Me either. So, there, good on you. Is there an ATM in the thing? Cash only for inconvenience washroom. Okay, it's getting cold. Let's find an ATM. Let's go to Scotia. It's across the road. <laughs> we came to this place across the street because it's not cash only. Yay. Where's just like regular pho? No, I should stop swearing. <laughs> oh, beef noodle. That's what I want. Is it rice noodle? I want rare beef. Is it rice noodle? Yeah, it's oh, no, pho. It's pho. It but pho is all right. All pho is rice noodle. All, all pho is always rice noodle, yeah. Time for pho. <laughs> So it is the next day after going out with Liz and I'm headed back to her place to work out again. Like we're trying to work out three days a week and so far this week we're going to hit that goal. And I just went to the Eaton Center and got some heat tech from Uniqlo because like that's something I always wanted to buy when I was living in Japan but I never did and it's so cold in Canada now that like I wanted to get heat tech and it was on sale for like super cheap $19 for like uh, heat tech leggings and a heat tech turtleneck so I'm so excited for that. What a busy weekend I have had. I am officially back home now. It's Sunday night. I have laundry going in the background so that's the noise that you hear. I finally am having dinner at like 8.30 at night, which counts as my lunch also because I didn't really have a proper um, meal after I worked out with Liz. Um, I didn't film the workout this time because it's like literally same old, same old, but this time we just did cardio. So we ran on the treadmill for 40, 50 minutes to burn like 400 calories. It was great. Um, yeah, I'm just home now, eating dinner, watching a movie, and uh, I guess I'll show you what I'm eating. But anyway, I'm gonna end the vlog here because it is a Sunday night, so. This is what I'm eating. I have udon soup with kimchi and then uh, some uh, tofu spinach mash with soy sauce and uh, sesame oil all like mashed together with spinach. And then I have uh, rice and my egg tamagoyaki that I always make. It's just like a tamagoyaki recipe with 
stuff. And then seaweed. All right, so I'm at Liz's right now, having a girls' night. It's super cute, and we got some people. Hi. Woo. What's up? Woo. Introduce yourselves. I'm Sarah from Command Sisters. I'm Laura from Laura Ron Music. Woo. And we got another one over here. Hey, hey, <laughs> where are you going? <laughs> we got Liz though. Liz Hi. is amazing. <laughs> Billy. This is me and Billy. Yes. Yeah. Wild. You guys, this girl's ears are amazing. I have 29 on this ear. Holy shit. It's almost finished. I'm trying to get to 30. So I can say I have what? 30, right? It actually, like, it's stunning. It's it's, a, it's actually stunning. And then I just started on this ear. It's not done, obviously. I have, <gasps> I think, 12 or 13. Oh my god, it's beautiful. I know. Like, this actually... It's beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. Beautiful. Like, it... I couldn't help myself but be like, holy shit, your ears are beautiful. I forget I have them sometimes. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know, I don't realize, because I just like, almost my hair usually covers them, Yeah. Right? It was like, because we're talking about tattoos, right? Yeah. This is my one thing that I indulge in, and then I just- I love it though. It's, it. I've never seen anyone with that many- It's so beautiful. Earrings, and it's beautiful. Good morning, everyone. I am at Liz's again, because I've been here all week. It's been great. It's been very productive, a lot of fun, a lot of working out, which is what we're doing again today. That's why I'm here early in the morning, even though it's not that early, it's like 10.30. But on my way here, something happened, and Liz was like, you should vlog that. And I didn't even didn't even cross my mind. I was just like, like complaining to her about it. But I hopped on like the streetcar, what I normally do, and like I was trying to like rummage through my bag to find my transit card to pay, and then fare inspectors came on, and like stopped me and like didn't let me pay because I guess they thought I wasn't going to pay for the streetcar and like charged me a fine for not tapping even though I was like I literally just got on and I'm just going to like I'm trying to find my presto and I guess like that's worthy of getting like a fine <laughs> so I was so upset so upset because I've never gotten like a fine for that before and they're like how many times has this happened to you I was like literally never because I always pay <laughs> like uh, and there was money on my card too, so it's like I was going to pay, but yeah, anyway, fair warning to anyone coming to Toronto, the transit people are like hounds, and even if you're just getting on the thing, like they'll still like charge you a fine if you didn't tap like instantly. <laughs> no breaks for anyone, but yeah, that's what's up. Anyway, for the rest of the day, I am working out with Liz, we're going to do that this morning, and then I'm literally just heading home to get school and work done because it's the new semester that starts and just a reminder i'm in a marketing course for anyone who asks or is curious but yeah having trouble there you should try this <laughs> what does it even work out i'm exhausted <laughs> are done at the gym and now we're making omelets. <laughs> Liz is making bacon. So good. So good bacon. I haven't had it in a while. I'd say I haven't had it in a month. That's probably the last time I had bacon. I eat it every day. What? I know it's a problem. That's why we go to the gym, right? Yeah, that's why we go to the gym. But to be honest, our workout was pretty slack today. Because it was arms and we don't, well, I don't ever work out arms, so I have no idea what I'm doing. So we just did like treadmill for like, I'd say 30 minutes and then um, a little bit of arm workouts and I failed miserably and now I'm exhausted. I did that um, CrossFit thing where you shake the rope on the ground real fast and it was impossible. Our omelet is ready. Yum. Look at that. Bacon and omelet. It's got, what's it got? Spinach, tomato, onion, and then dairy-free cheese and some mayonnaise in it because <laughs> mayonnaise makes it really creamy. Mm. Oh, hot. <laughs> oh, I burnt my tongue. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh, 
O T D business lady outfit. <laughs> That's a good pose. I should have done that. Let's redo that. Anyway, just checking in after a day at work. Business lady outfit. No real plans. I'm going to hang out with Liz again tomorrow and that's what's up. First of all, I want to take this moment of me being at home for the first time in forever to apologize for the lack of quality video content. Um, I haven't been bringing my vlog camera around with me because I've been carrying so much between like um, going to Liz's and workout clothes. I haven't, like I actually don't have like proper bags for carrying that much stuff at once and I just haven't had room for my camera and it's just like not really worth it in my opinion when I know I can film on my phone um yeah maybe maybe eventually I'll get back in the swing of things but things this past week have been busy because Liz and I are trying to um do three workouts a week plus she had invited me to a lot of events that she wanted me to go to with her um so I've just been chaotically busy in for like an entire seven days <laughs> that's what's up but anyway I'm oh, I'm tired you guys working out's been great uh, yeah how's it going for you anyway look at my shoes these shoes I got in Japan on Valentine's Day in Shibuya 109 when I lived there if any of you guys are longtime viewers and remember that vlog <laughs> they're like yellow and weird This is how you spend Valentine's Day in Japan when you're got no boyfriend. <laughs> Even when you but do. when you got Sharla. <laughs> Shopping. If you'll remember when I bought these shoes. This is the first time I'm wearing them in Toronto and I'm actually bummed out. Because last night before I went to Liz's, I was I checked the weather and it was like gonna be a nice clear day, no snow, no rain, nothing. And I was like, perfect, I can wear my heels because there's no snow on the ground here yet. And then I wake up in the morning and it's literally a blizzard outside. And I'm like, great, like I wore, I brought my nice heels to wear <laughs> to work today. And, and it's a blizzard outside. So I was like having to walk through like slush well, not quite slush, but snow and ice, and it was, like, not a good time at all. I was so ticked off. It's just, like, bad luck. It's just bad luck all around. <sighs> Has any of that happened to you guys before? And Nala is so happy to see me. You haven't seen me in a while. Mm. Thank you. She hasn't been seeing me much lately, so she's been... She's being super lovey-dovey right now. Wanting all my love and attention. Yeah, it's been a while, hasn't it? You miss me when I'm gone now? I'm glad that we got to this point in our cat and human relationship. For the longest time, she was, like, unsure of me. Like, I'd say for the first, like, almost two months, she was unsure of me. Now we're on three months living together. Nice bum. Slap that ass. Hey. We're slapping ass. Grab the neck and shake, and then a slap of the ass. She loves that. If you haven't noticed, I might be a little bit happy to be home for the first time this week. Well, actually, no, I was here on Sunday, but it was such a fleeting moment, I don't remember. Good morning, everyone. I am at Liz's again. We are gonna do a workout. So I'm in my workout attire looking. This is like the worst angle anyone could have done. But yeah, I have red lipstick on because we just took a photo that I needed to get. Um, so that will come off and then to the gym we go. We're doing pretty good for three days a week. We've been quite consistent so far, so I'm happy about that. And then after the gym, I'm thinking I'll stop by the Eaton Center and buy an iPad because like there's so many times I've needed a laptop on hand when I've been out, but my laptop that I own is like a huge gaming Asus. Like it's performance, it's for like programs and shit. So 
it's just not realistic like it's so heavy it hurt like after i carry it i literally get tension headaches for like the next three days after it's so heavy and huge so i'm thinking that's something i really really should invest in so that's probably what i'll do right after the gym and then go home and uh work and play with my ipad Grabbing a coffee at this cute little cafe in the beach shop. Oh my god. What? Gluten free. <gasps> Which one should I get? It's so small of them. But that's fine. Which one should I get? Oh, but it's sea salt, it's sea salt with cocoa nibs. That looks good. And that one has Belgian white chocolate and caramel. I'm gonna get them both. <laughs> Will that be okay with you? <laughs> yeah. But look at the, these are gluten free too. Well, just the one really? is. Just the one in the Why? middle is. Oh my god. That looks good. What's in it? I don't know. It's like a meal and a half. It's literally a meal. It's a cute spinach and potatoes. Oh, really? How do they not know that it's. <laughs> the sandwiches look amazing. Weren't we gonna make food at. Yeah, we're still gonna do that. <laughs> Write their name on it and you have a little alphabetical system.